Hi everybody, this is Valerie from Xanabella Plant-Based Skincare. Today I want to show you how to do a DIY scrub for your hands and your wrists. Uh, you can also use it for your body and your feet as well. Um, I'm going to show you how to use household ingredients to make the scrub along with Xanabella's Invigorating Mint Body Cream. So for starters, I'll just tell you a little bit about like what I have here. I have about equal portions of the Invigorating Mint Body Cream right here. I also have sea salt and I have sodium bicarbonate. So sodium bicarbonate is baking soda. Most people have that in their cabinets. Sea salt, uh, also known as sodium chloride, is uh, the simplest form of salt. So uh, there's a few different salts that you may or may not have or are familiar with, but sea salt's the best one to use for your skin because there's no added ingredients. A lot of times if you're using an iodized salt, not only do you have like iodine in there, but you also have like an anti-caking agent. So I only use sea salt for cooking and for my body. So we're gonna mix all these products together. The baking soda is very fine texturally. Uh, the sea salt is a little bit coarser. And I, when I'm making the scrub, that's kind of like what I'm going for. I like the different types of textures because it offers a better exfoliation. So once I got all those in there, I'm just going to mix them together. And of course, like, uh, the measurements don't have to be perfect. I also like this particular scrub because it won't clog your drains or your bathtub because um, both of these will dissolve in water. So now I have my scrub. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to gently exfoliate my hands and my wrists. So again, this scrub is gentle enough where you could use it on your whole body, your feet, and even your face. If you want a little bit extra uh, scrub, just put a little more sea salt, a little more baking soda in there, and a little less lotion. So I'm going to show you a technique for really dry hands afterwards. So after you do, you're done exfoliating, you're going to rinse your skin with warm water, gently. So most people, after this point, they're not going to need to moisturize. It's like, I can feel this already. Uh, if my hands were tired or achy, uh, the invigorating mint, the body cream will help with that because the invigorating mint has, uh, besides coconut and sunflower oils, it also has essential oils of peppermint, lavender, eucalyptus, and sweet orange. But if you do have very dry, cracked skin, and this goes for your feet as well. Once you pat yourself dry, try putting on like a, bot, a body butter. So this here is Xanabella Mint Chocolate Lip and Hand Butter Balm. So this is good for your whole body. If you have cracked lips, it's especially good for that. But I'm actually gonna put this on and then I'm going to use 100% cotton dermatological gloves and I'll put those on afterwards. So when you're putting on a moisturizer like a butter and then you're using the dermatological gloves, you want to try to leave them on as long as possible. If you're using this technique for your feet, instead of using gloves, you're going to be using socks. Same concept though, you want to make sure that they don't have any dye in them and that they're also 100% cotton. You don't want to use silk or polyester because that's not going to allow your skin to breathe. So. I'm just going to massage a little bit of the Xanabella 
uh, mint chocolate lip and hand butter balm and again this has mint in it so it has like a cooling effect which is really good not only for your skin but it also helps with like achy muscles so I can do my typing with that Obviously, I can't use my smartphone, but if you have a laptop or a PC or something like that, you can always still do your work while you have the gloves on. Keep them on as long as you can. Try to keep them on overnight, and you'll notice the difference. Try to do this exfoliation at least once a week, and your skin will thank you. Thanks for watching.